imagine to have a capsule <coughs> full of people, you put this capsule inside the tube, evacuate the tube from the air so there's no resistance. Now you can move the capsule at almost the speed of sound using a tiny fraction of the energy. Coming in this region and speaking to various institutional uh, partners, investors and the government, we decided to open up a company and to uh, open a joint venture. Uh, we are now uh, putting $1 million from the uh, headquarters and the local partner, Tui and Paparon. The first one is in Tangera. Yeah. We analyzed the airport to the protection of the city. The second one is a wider route that involves the entire uh, um, uh, Java. And we are connecting all the airports, including the new one, with the Nike. And the third one is Sumatra. I have a system that can actually use as a combination of renewable energy, combining solar panel, wind, kinetic energy, because the capsule that moves generates electricity. Hyperloop Transtech. Okay. Uh, we will have a branding, a specific branding for Indonesia. We have some surprises coming. Okay. The partners is uh, Dewey and Paparo. Right now, oh, right now. Okay. So we opened the company in February. Okay. We announced the signing of the deal two days ago in front of the Ministry of Transportation. When you need to transport people at, at peak time, you have half a million people in a row. Yes. So how can you afford to have these people on the roads? The roads are obsolete by definition. The more road you build, the more uh, problem you create. Okay. Imagine to have an hyperloop. An hyperloop can transport an average of 28 people per capsule and depart every 40 seconds. We can also have a capsule of 40 or 50 people. 